for the purpose of the um, permit process, they had a stated need to avoid population centers. And so that particular route does not avoid population centers, and so it doesn't meet the criteria. The 550? What about the 510? Are you talking the blue route? Yeah, 510. You're talking 510 now? Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'll try to answer your question. Um, there is quite a bit of um, more populated areas that you would go through. There's the Midway location right before you get to the highway. You'd also go through Ishpeming. You'd also go through Nagani. And uh, those were things that we were considering. Yes, forgive me, I, I came in a little late, but on uh, the previous slide, you had the alternatives there. And I was looking at the pink areas that show the uh, wetland registry. It would seem like that the, the, the red road, Slippery Hall, this is a no-brainer. I mean, uh, I don't know how much population density is in there, certainly less than 550, but that seems to have the, less, uh, the least amount of wetlands impacted, uh, as opposed to the green route, which is County Road 595, where you're crossing you know, hundreds and hundreds of areas of, of wetland, just according to this gross map here. This would seem to be pretty much a no-brainer to, if you're worried about the wetlands, you know, why carve up a, uh, a bunch of wilderness uh, wetland area uh, to make a new road when you've probably already got existing roads that can be used that have already been, the area's already been disturbed. I mean, I, I, I guess I don't understand, uh, of these three routes, if you look at the pink areas, it seems like a no-brainer. <clears throat> which, which route should be selected? If we're talking about wetlands and, and mitigating and having to do the mitigation work. Okay, thank you for your comment. Where does the money come from to pay for this? The Road Commission applied for the permit, but at this present time, Kennecott would be the source of the funding for the proposal. You've already sent in $720 million in stimulus money to Rio Tinto from the federal government. I would say they got quite enough already. I have a question about the mitigation. And I know you said there's a map out there, but as part of the mitigation, building a bridge over the east branch of the Salmon Trout River. Yes. Yeah. That, um, it's, that's a little bit misleading, I think. What it actually is proposed is to remove three existing undersized crossings, realign the AAA road, and then have one crossing, a bridge crossing of the Salmon Trout River. And that's part of the stream mitigation proposal. Okay, because my question has always been, how can you use a road, part of a road stream crossing that is already being ruined as mitigation for more ruination? That, that just does not make sense to me. Um, I, the answer to that is that the three crossings that are in there right now are causing damage to the stream. They're undersized. And why are they causing damage other than the trucks that are going over them? Rio Tinto trucks. They're, they're undersized culverts. The velocities are high going through those. That causes erosion in the stream channel and destabilizes the stream. In addition to that, the road runs right next to the stream. And I know. I ride the road a lot. Okay. And so the, the existing crossings that are in there are a problem for that stream. And that's the reason that the mitigation was proposed to get the road away from the stream and to cross it with one bridge, um, which has a wide span that would not interfere with the stability or the, the stream system. Okay, I still don't quite understand that. Who are you to decide whether you should put 15 families at risk or 100 families at risk? Please repeat your question. I couldn't hear, please. Um, you know what? We're going to... Have this one first, and then we'll go back over there to the person who um, asked the question. Um, when did the EPA quit, uh, Steve Greskin, Marion Municipal Michigan, when did the EPA quit uh, or withdraw consideration of the uh, permitted road, AAA to 510 to 550, 
And uh, did you consider the possibility of a bypass around the west side of Marquette so there wouldn't be running those trucks through Marquette? I know a lot of people comment that that should be done. Thanks. What I, what I can say is that when we uh, issued our objection, we pointed out what we thought were the two alternatives that had not been fully addressed. Those are the, the brown and the red alternatives. So before, sometime before that, uh, which was in April, I think when we issued our objection letter, uh, we had been satisfied that the, the uh, feasible alternatives were narrowed to three. Why the ones that were least well documented? Well, we did ask for more information on them. I mean, that is that is a, a true fact because we thought that they met the purpose of the project as, as stated in the application, and that they had fewer aquatic impacts than County Road 595. So that's why we focused on those two in addition to the county's preferred alternative 595. So we. We start with the purpose of the project. We say, are there any alternatives that haven't been fully considered that would be less damaging? And when we went through that process, we became convinced that these two alternatives would be less damaging and had not been and had not been shown that they weren't feasible to do. Yeah. Sir, Millie White, Marquette. Um, so the county, not the client, the applicant is the one that prefers Route Green. The, the Earlier you said there was the, the, the applicant. The applicant is the, is the county. Oh. Marquette County okay. has proposed to build County Road 595, so that's referred to as the preferred alternative. And is that the one that Rio Tinto is proposing to help fund, to pay for? Is that yes. correct? Yes. yes. Um, back to the no-brainer on red. Um, I understand that maybe... Uh, Rio Tinto doesn't like it because it's the longest, um, but why hasn't that been studied more? I mean, would they still pay for that route to, to build it? I mean, I, I feel like almost all three alternatives are damaging us in some way, and that being asked to pay for it is like being raped and having to pay your rapist. <laughs> Well, the, um, the decision in front of EPA, we have objected to issuance of permit to 595 because we believe there were at least these two other alternatives that were feasible and would be less damaging. So now what we have to determine whether to maintain, withdraw, or modify that objection. 